There is no guess saying that ZBrush from Pixelogic has turned out to be one of the best sculpting apps in the CG space. There are other competitions that are available and those are also keeping up with the speed. In today's video, I am going to be talking about things we are going to be probably expecting in ZBrush 2019. These are features and rumors that has been posted online and some of them was also talked about in the previous ZBrush summit that just finished a few weeks back. While we wait for them to release the next version which might probably be called 2019 or ZBrush 2018 with an R series, here are a couple of things that you should look out for for the next coming version which might be released later in the year or in the first quarter of next year. First and foremost, one of the updates that will be coming to the new version of ZBrush is Keyshot 5 will no longer be supported. This is as a result of few tools that has been added up in the new version of Keyshot that will be shipping out. So from now henceforth, you will only be able to make use of Keyshot 7 and above when using ZBrush to Keyshot Link. This is also happening because there is a new tool that has been added which is known as the standard camera that exists now in the upcoming ZBrush which is also supported in Keyshot and this tool is amazing because all you have to do is now you can set the size, you can set your focal distance and so on and so forth. Basically what you can get with the standard camera which you don't have natively inside of ZBrush you can now create those and have them running both on ZBrush and once you hit export to Keyshot the changes or whatever setting you have in your camera would also transfer from ZBrush directly into Keyshot. This will be very handy especially for artists that end up trying to match environment with the character that they're making. This will come in really really handy for them. And also the sub tool section has also been overhauled in a very reasonable sense which simply means that now you can go over to the sub tool selection and you can expand it instead of scrolling all the way down to find sub tools that has been hidden just because you are only allowed to a certain number of visible sub tools now you can expand the sub tool by uh, turning on a particular slider and it goes all the way down and you can view every single thing that exists in your model. The folder system has also been added into ZBrush. This is one of the features that we saw coming the minute we get to find that there was something called start when ZBrush 4R8 was released and it had the live boolean too. Now one of the good features with the folder system is with the folder system you can actually pack up all your models into a particular folder so instead of hiding them individually you can pack them up into a folder you can hide the folder this will make your work way more organized and the cool feature with this folder system is that the folder system has certain settings so the settings also work very well with the boolean so for example let's believe we have certain things that you've actually made boolean of in zbrush and you pack all these things together into a folder you don't need to go in and start making each and every one of them a separate model all you have to to do is if you have all of your sub tools that has been uh, bullying inside the folder you can just go through and you can create a live bullying object or you can just make a convert to mesh and automatically you can have one sub tool that has all of the bullying done now this will be really reasonable because it will save you ton of time of going back and forth trying to re-edit the model over and over again so instead of creating the live tool and it's sitting somewhere else like it happens previously you can just create your live bullying from the folder and then you can have it right inside of the same tool as a sub tool uh, other feature that you might be seeing is the peel uv of course the uv that exists in zbrush is amazing but the peel uv editor is amazing one of the things you're going to notice right off is the minute you open up the peel uv it creates a new window just like the one we saw that comes with the polygroup it so it creates a new window and with the window you can do all of your uv in there and believe me the uv in system that's coming to zbrush now is going to be way better because now you can easily direct how you want your uvs to be done just like you can have those things done in maya and also in 3d studio max it is quite easy for you to use that i'm going to put links 
to the summit video in the description below some other things that we are also praying that should come in with the new zbrush which are presently known as plugins right now is the z color which uh, aids you to select colors instead of going back and forth going to uh, other sites that has color harmony and you can have that existing in your own zbrush presently by just going over to pixelogic download center and you can download the color the z color plugin and install it the intersection master is also another plugin that has been released due to popular demands as well because there was a video that was covered in the ask zbrush and it was also made for that reason there is also a tool that is available for uh, jewel makers people that actually make jewels in zbrush it's called the kitco metal coat and this tool is going to be very amazing for people who want to know exactly how much it's going to cost for them to create certain objects and know what materials they need to use in making or casting those so these are the updates that i think that will be coming to zbrush there are quite few but i think they will be very handy and also we would also get to see one more update which is more of a viewport update and that update is quite um, interesting because up until the live boolean tool all of your mesh in zbrush are active when you're making a selection they're active in the sense that they're not grayed out or they are not uh, de-highlighted they are all active which simply means you can see them there is nothing like an x-ray mode until the live boolean tool so there is a new update that's coming with the new update coming or the new version that will be released when you make a selection of your objects or maybe when you make a multi-selection of objects the objects that are not selected will be grayed out i think uh, further things will be refined as we wait if there is any updates about the new coming zbrush or any uh, stuff coming out in zbrush I'll post them right here on this channel and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get updates when I release a new video and so far so good guys, peace.